Hello there, this video will cover how to install LMMS, formerly known as Linux Multimedia Studio, in a Linux desktop on a Chromebook. LMMS is a full music production studio. If you are interested in Linux on a Chromebook, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on a Chromebook without running. There will be commands, further information, and updates in the pinned comments for this video. To install LMMS, we can use Synaptic, which we can get to by going to the menu. And in the Preferences section, we can click on Synaptic Package Manager. When Synaptic has opened up, we can first click on the Reload button to get an up-to-date list of the available software in Synaptic. When Synaptic is done reloading, we can then click on the Search button and search by name for LMMS. After searching for LMMS, we can then right-click on it, select Mark for Installation, and then click on the Mark button for the additional required changes. From there, to install LMMS, we just need to click on the Apply button, and then click on Apply again to confirm that we want to install LMMS. When the install is finished, we can click on the close button to close out of the changes applied window, and then we can also close out of Synaptic. Now we can open up LMMS from the menu, and in the sound and video category, we can click on LMMS. In the first window that comes up, we can click on the yes button to create the default directory. Keep in mind that this can be changed at any time in LMMS settings. From here, we just give LMMS a moment to start up. When the setup window comes up, we can leave everything as is and click on the OK button. From there, in the Restart LMMS window, we can click on the OK button and then give LMMS another moment to start up. If LMMS has any performance or graphical issues, then you can try using the small yay command to run it outside of the desktop. I will have an example command that uses sommelier and a link to the video that explains the sommelier command in the pinned comment. In LMMS, there are plenty of demos that we can listen to and play around with. To access the demos, we just need to click on the My Projects button on the left side, and then click on the pull down next to Demos, and then double click on any of the demos to open them. Depending on the project size, you may need to wait a minute or two for the project to open. Now, after the demo project has opened up, we can then click on the play button to hear the demo play out. Now, that's pretty fun. To export a project as an audio file, we just need to go to the File menu and select Export. Then from the window that pops up, we can navigate to the desired file path that we would like our audio to be exported to. And then we can also change the file type to .mp3. After we're finished with that, we can click on the Save button, and then we can click on the Start button, where LMMS will take a couple of moments to export the .mp3 file. When the file is done exporting, we can then open up a file manager and navigate to where the .mp3 file was exported. From there, we can open up the .mp3 file where we can then hear the demo again. For more information about LMMS, there is the official LMMS website, which is lmms.io. Here they have downloads available cross-platform for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. They also have documentation that covers how to use LMMS, how to navigate through it, and more. Note that there are also YouTubes that cover LMMS. Last but not least, we can get more help and documentation from a terminal by doing LMMS space dash dash help, or we can do man space LMMS for more detailed documentation. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, The Chromebook Guide to Google Linux. And other than that, see you soon!